Okay, here we go. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 42. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons. That's an old computer. That's like Always 97. Always him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and it was Ugh. harder. 90s. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. He worked on Sundays? Although others might have considered it so winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Mm hmm and Right. Stanley was happy. That works. You and then one day, something very peculiar happened. Ooh. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. It's kind of a long time. No one showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. We can move. We can lack. We can lack turn now. This is very exciting. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. Mm -hmm. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. Well, he'd probably be dead. But one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. Mm -hmm. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Yep. Pretty sure that's called insanity. Waiting for the same thing. Expecting different results. Okay. So it looks like we really got control this time, so let's kinda let's kinda figure out how this is working here. We're gonna immediately kinda edit keys. You're gonna judge me and I'm gonna respect it. I'm gonna change this. Okay, that's better. So here we go. Um, I first watched the Stanley Parable on Yogg's cast. And now I'm really excited that it's own game. Kind of been touched up a little bit. And we're going to see what happens. I'm not really trying to get a specific ending. So we're just going to have fun with it. Does that say I hate Mondays? That doesn't really seem to be in the personality of... Does those look like they have faces? No? Okay, let's get moving. Let's be slow about it. Got some empty rooms, some boxes what with some mugs. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Memos, right. Let's kind of look around. Yeah, see, definitely I hate Mondays. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Okay. I like this plant. Loving this vintage nonsense. I really wish we could, like, look at some of these papers, you know? But that's just me going off the beaten path. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, 
pretty similar to the last room here. Well, well, it's a maze. Awaiting input. Well, it's like I'm on top of the world. Well, I can climb on the desks. I am so trolling this game right now. Okay, um. Picture of a leaf. Looks like it was taken by a 12 year old on Instagram. Um, okay. It's a pretty showroom. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. YOLO! This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay. Um... Is that where we're going then? With my Yolan. I really want to open door 420. I just realized that. I just realized that. But I think we already passed that. Here it is. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Okay. Got our mounted picture. I'm really glad that I decided to defy the narrator. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Okay, bro. You can calm down. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Alright, I guess, I guess we'll do it. I guess we'll do it. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Okay. What happens if I do this, though? Okay, that didn't work. That's okay, that's fine, that's fine. We're gonna be good. We're gonna be good right now. We're gonna be good. Okay, so is this the meeting room? Has a whiteboard. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, hmm. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Right, right. RIP friends. Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. Hmm. We're broke Wednesday. Termination Tuesday. But yet we have an office party. Don't tell 432 about the meeting. Wait, am I 432? I don't remember who I am. I feel like I'm missing some like symbolism or something. Targets. Push for funding. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Fire paper guy. Hire somebody to fire the paper guy. The future was yesterday. Tomorrow is now. Okay. People's names. Please no more charts. Please, I'm begging. Stop. On your roster preach, you circle the top twenty. Wow, that's a little much. Um, I like these like really realistic looking powerpoints though. I also want to know how this keeps running. Why did we hire you? Now you're both of them. Oh my gosh, I got freaked out by the sounds of my own footsteps. What are your dreams for the future? A boat. I definitely think my dream is totally a boat. Tips for not getting fired, don't get fired, talk less. Sorry guys, I'm just loving like all of this nonsense right now. What do people want? Things. Happy feelings? Mike, you are fired. Teenagers, I respect that. Telephone directory. I want to call everybody. Alright, let's go. Broom glasses. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Alright, you guys are probably like, why are you following the narrator? Don't worry, I plan on defying him at some point. It's just... Right now, since this is my first playthrough... For the most part, I think I'm just gonna kinda figure out the main story, so... 
This is a nice, this is a large office, and like he hasn't even used the majority of the space. This is, this kind of makes me mad. This is a lot of trees that he killed. I think environmental people would be angry. I'm angry right now. That's for sure. Look at all these books. These are so... Going into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, hmm. Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his oh, boss wow. had been keeping from This him. is the real so the nice. 2845. 2845. But of course, Stanley 2845. 2845. 2845. Okay. Guess we're gonna do it. Is this alcohol? This is totes alcohol. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Dude, there's a cat picture on the wall. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> Two, eight, four, five. Okay. This is not working. But, God, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in. And the door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. Alright, it's not my fault that my mouse, like, freaked out. Wait, where does it, where did it open? There's another cat. Why? Okay, maybe I'm supposed to go over here. Is this where I was supposed to go? I don't know. Kind of feel like this is wrong. Okay, um. Okay, that was stupid. This is freaking me out, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that loading screen kind of worried, like, kind of took away from the real effect, but that's okay. Oof, this, this game, man. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as hmm. though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Okay. Here we go. Actually kind of freaked Stanley out. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. No. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Okay, let's go. I don't believe you. I'm getting really freaked out now, like legitimately. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. No. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. That's fine. Did I just die? I really don't like these loading screens. They throw me off. As 
As the machine whirred into motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Oh my gosh. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led okay. helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was okay, obliterated cool. as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Um, that didn't happen. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as yep. ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I have no idea. This is nice. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, mm -hmm. death becomes meaningless. Making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley mm -hmm. was already dead from the moment he hit start? I, I get that. Um, okay. So I guess we died. Which kind of sucks. I guess. Um, wait, is this like a maze? Sorry, I was so quiet, guys. I was legitimately like kind of freaking out in a real way. Um, isn't there like a girl in one of them? Like, that's kind of what I want. You know, so. Um,. Just gonna walk around here a little bit. And then I guess that's that's gonna be the end of this first freedom ending. That is not what I got. That is not what I got. I just wanted to escape. That was really it. But I like ignored the narrator, so doesn't that mean like I was thinking for myself? <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free.